Yeah, good afternoon, friends. We have with us uh, Ms. Geetika Bahuguna. Uh, she is the COO Services from Millennium Education Group. And she was also the session moderator of uh, uh, one of the very interesting uh, panel session, Harnessing the Power of Technology for Holistic Development of Early Childhood Education in Preschool. We welcome you, Geetika Ma'am, in today's event. Thank you so much. It was really my pleasure to be here. And I hope I've been able to contribute effectively. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, ma'am, uh, as you have uh, moderated, uh, very well defined and a very uh, mm. un, un, uh, an informal segment, which is now uh, co formally you know, uh, coming under the umbrella of NEP as well. Yes. Uh, what has been your experience, ma'am, if I uh, you know, ask you two years before and now? Uh, I think there has been a lot of change in the mindset of people yes. and also the confidence level that you can embrace technology because they have seen it happening during the pandemic. Correct. Now it's only about how do you leverage it better? How do you actually harness the potential of technology? And uh, how to, various tools, like especially if I talk about the pre-primary segment, that has been untouched, uh, you know, so we haven't really leveraged it in a physical school. So now it's about taking it out from the virtual mode and bringing it into the physical school and creating maybe a hybrid or an integrated model where technology becomes a very innate and a critical uh, you know, component of the entire pedagogical cycle. So ma'am, preschool segment otherwise also has been considered as a very uh, uh, you, experiential. Very experiential, mm. correct, and a uh, lot of uh, hygiene and uh, has been uh, no should be maintained over the year. People Absolutely. are very uh, sensitive in selecting a brand or a school Absolutely. as well. Uh, what, how do you advise, ma'am? Or how are you taking your brand in that way? See, we are a very child safety uh, focused organization, so our processes are very well defined, and there have been a. So we have all the structures and processes because you can't actually run a chain if you don't have that. And there are continuous, regular audits. And uh, so whatever is being done, and there's uh, robust training which happens and close monitoring of the schools. So it is like, you know, all everything is catered yeah. for and taken care. If anybody is opting for a franchisee, ma'am, of a free preschool, uh, what should he keep in mind, like top three pointers for him selecting a brand? Okay. Uh, it is about who's running, what is the credibility of the organization, you know, what is their pedagogy, what is their approach, uh, of uh, and uh, what is their connect with the parents, you know, so it's a credibility would be based on the experience of the, you know, parents or whatever anecdotal evidences are there. Plus, the pedagogy would define uh, how the child is actually being exposed to learning because that is very critical. The, like what we had been hearing that, you know, it has to be social, emotional, experiential, all that. Uh, where does, uh, ma'am, uh, or how do you place immersive learning in the preschool segment? It is all immersive. You cannot have learning which is not immersive. The child has to be immersed in learning and the learning has to be orchestrated you know, where the child experiences learning because you can't teach a child, he has to learn. So it is very constructivist at that particular stage also. Child will learn if he is interested, he is curious, he is engaged. So that process of, you know, making, ensuring these three conditions are met is through immersive learning. So it cannot be any other way. Uh, even ma'am, uh as an educator point of view, how, what should be the criteria of selecting uh, a caretaker or, uh, or a teacher for preschool? A uh, teacher is a passion, you know, her connect. In fact, we were also figuring out with our HR in case we could do as, you know, we could actually figure out what is the EQ uh, and, you know, component because it is all energy. See, content comes later. What you require is the true love, care, passion, and the zeal to keep learning. Because you have to keep learning with change. Ma'am, we have all gathered at New Normal Education Leadership Summit and Award. What does the word New Normal for you stands? Um, 
So new normal is, uh, one is the traditional definition because we've gone through the VUCA uh, period. Yeah. So this is like practically a new normal. Otherwise also, I think what somebody said that every day is a new normal. We are evolving at a very, very fast speed. So I, I think it'll continue. Yeah, it is going to be the only constant. Is constant it's the only continue. constant, yeah, it'll continue. Uh, Ma'am, recently we have celebrated our uh, one year of existence and uh, mm. it's been the first anniversary of Ardacom Media. Okay. Any message and good wishes you want to share with us? I think uh, all the best. Congratulations. I was there last time also and I've seen that passion, that energy and the commitment yes. in the team and uh, you've been able to gather all the thought leaders. Please continue doing this because these are forums which would, which give each other that confidence yes. and the you know, moral support Absolutely. because this education community has to move together Absolutely. and there has to be partnership. Yeah, yeah. So thank you for uh, being a part of this event. Thank, thank you so much to you for having me over. Thank you.